Welcome back to the 9mm Ammo Quest, where I'm looking for the best performing self-defense ammo from a micro pistol, a little 9mm with a 3 inch barrel. Now barrel length can have a significant impact on how ammo behaves and how the velocity and how the bullets expand. And so I want to make sure that whatever ammo I'm carrying in a 3 inch pistol performs well from that 3 inch barrel pistol. So I've been testing all sorts of different rounds and one of the most successful ones that I've tested is Federal Premium HST in the 124 grain standard pressure version. I was a little bit effusive when I did that review because it was a standout fantastic performer. And since I posted that review, people have been flooding me with requests, please, please, please test all the other types of HST because there's uh, 147 grain in standard and plus P and there's also 124 grain plus P. I tested the 124 grain standard and today, because of the generosity of some of my viewers, I am going to be able to bring you 147 grain standard pressure. Uh, this was donated to me by a viewer who wanted to see it tested and so we're going to do that today. In general, I'm optimistic because I generally prefer a heavier bullet whenever possible, heavier for caliber. I like the, the weight, the momentum, the bone shattering performance that you can get from a heavier bullet as long as the velocity is adequate. Um, I also like the there being more metal in the bullet because that gives us the potential that it will possibly expand bigger. There's just more metal to work with. So I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also concerned that, you know, from a short barrel, you got to have a certain level of velocity in order for a bullet to expand. And the short barrel, we'll see whether it will deliver enough velocity for these to reliably expand and perform like those 124s did, because those were great. Testing standards that I'm looking for, a minimum of 12 inches and no more than 18 inches of penetration through ballistic gel. This is genuine professional organic ballistic gel. Uh, exact same stuff the FBI uses and prepared properly. Um, understand that's not 12 to 18 inches of penetration through a body. It's 12 inches to 18 inches of penetration through ballistic gel, which is the standard. And that's what the FBI uses. I'm going to be using the uh, four layers of heavy denim. This is not what the FBI uses. They use a heavy clothing test, but the IWBA created the heavy denim standard, which is a more recent standard. And so that's what I use. So four layers of 16 ounce per square yard heavy denim. And we're going to go to the range and find out how these 147 grain HSTs perform. Through the bare gelatin, the 147 grain standard pressure HSTs penetrated marvelously, easily exceeding the 12 inch minimum we're looking for. We had two bullets come in at 13 inches, two of them at 13 and a half, and one at 13 and three quarters. So that's just fantastic performance. Through denim, we got very consistent performance. I mean, almost exactly the same as without the denim. We got three bullets came in at 13 inches, one at 13 and a half, and one at 14. So all five of them are well in excess of the 12 inch minimum. They all expanded great. They all performed great. Uh, hard to ask for much more. In my review of the 124s, I think I used the word perfect over a dozen times, so I'm trying not to, but it deserves it. Perfect, 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 perfect. Okay, I lost track, but there's a lot of perfects. These are basically perfect. Look at these things. They're massive. They're substantially bigger than the 124s were. The denim bullets are as big as the 124s were in the bear gel. Uh, to give you an example for comparison, that was 124 in bear. And this is 124 in denim. So the 147s are indeed substantially bigger than the 124s were. They did not penetrate quite as much. That's the trade-off. Uh, but I was concerned about the velocity. I should not have been concerned about the velocity. They were well over 950 to 980 feet per second. Clearly, surely enough to absolutely ensure symmetrical expansion and consistent performance among all of them. You see the diameter's a little different. The height is also just a little bit different. I don't know if you're even really able to see that. So clearly fantastic 
performance. Very happy with the expansion, the penetration, and the consistency of the HSTs in the 147 grain. All right, final wrap up on the 147 HSTs. Win, win, win. Those are excellent. They were not identical to the 124s. The 124s had a little bit more penetration, about two inches more, um, but these had greater expansion. So take your pick. Either way, they both easily exceeded the FBI minimum. Uh, they expanded tremendous for a nine millimeter. I mean, that was really a big bullet. Uh, a lot of damage done. The actual McPherson wound trauma indicator, which uh, is a formula that calculates how much tissue in grams has been destroyed by the bullet, is actually a little higher for the 147. But either way, they're both excellent. I would heartily recommend either one, and I'm looking forward to now testing the 147 Plus P, which was also donated by a viewer of the video. So thank you very much for that, and we will get to that test as soon as I get to all these tests. So please hit subscribe if you like what you saw, that the more that you subscribe and the more you share the videos, the more I can bring more videos to you. And we will get that tested just as soon as I can get my backlog of other tests done too. Anyway, thanks for watching.